3D printing. Love it or hate it? Or, depending on the print, a little bit of both? Well, today I'm just going to focus on the top 10 things I love about 3D printing. And yeah, I'll probably sneak in a few of those hate moments along the way. The future of 3D printing blows my mind practically every time I think about it. If you look back to 2010, home 3D printers were pricey, clunky, made out of a lot of wood that you literally had to cut yourself, and they were really mostly for hardcore tinkerers. But in just the past five years, well, there's been massive improvements, massive price drops, and it's really never been easier to start. And the possibilities? They're endless. Home 3D prints are so good that you can sell them. Well, as long as they're legally licensed for you to resell. Or, you know, you could always learn 3D design and sell your own models. And classes about 3D printing, well, they're showing up practically everywhere. Really, what you can do with a 3D printer, well, it's only limited by how far you want to go. Sure, 3D printing isn't really cheap, but for a hobby, it's surprisingly affordable. You can find reliable printers for under about $300, and that's cheaper than a lot of things you could be doing. But as with anything, there's plenty of printers that aren't worth your time. So before you buy one, just make sure you do your homework. Read reviews, join forums, ask around, and well, see what fits your goals. And don't forget those ongoing filament costs, replacement parts, you know, stuff like that. You know, like every other hobby. Well, if you're still unsure, I guess you could always ask an AI, you know, which printer you should get. Just double check it, you know, just to be sure. <laughs> Here's the truth. Failing is a part of learning, especially in 3D printing. You will have bad prints. There's no way around it. I remember a few years back when my friend Ronnie was getting back into 3D printing after a horrible experience with his well, and then my first 3D printers. Yikes. Well, he once told me that he hadn't printed much because he was kind of worried about messing something up. and I had to give him the hard truth. There's no way to guarantee a perfect print, but print something. <laughs> Fast forward to now, well, and now he's running two printers practically nonstop. One of them is for his projects and the other one's for everybody else. That's progress. So every failed print, it's gonna teach you something. Embrace it and eventually you'll hopefully come to see failures is just another step forward. Oh, you sound just like my dad. 3D printing never stands still. New slicer updates, smarter firmware, new printer types, it's just always evolving. For instance, have you seen all these tool changers that are coming out? It's getting wild, and I can't really say I like the prices, but what about the UV printers? Now, they're not exactly 3D printers, but they're kind of more like tiny inkjet machines for resin, but really cool. Anyway, all this change, all it's doing is just keeping things fresh. And I think it's safe to say that 3D printing, it's a hobby you're probably not ever going to get bored with. Most hobbies have a learning curve, and once you have it down, it almost becomes a subconscious thing you do, at least for that one thing. Not many hobbies translate over into other aspects of your life, education, or even your work. 3D printing, on the other hand, well, it's full of skills that could change your life. Learning to design your own models, that can open up creative or even career opportunities. Kind of like how some people learn to computer code and design through Minecraft, of all things. Those building blocks, well, they inspired big ideas. The same creative energy, well, that flows into 3D printing. There's even programs that use Minecraft now 
to teach 3D design. And that brings us to the next thing I love about 3D printing. Once you start designing for yourself, whether it's in Tinkercad, Fusion 360, Shaper 3D, or even Minecraft, well, you're gonna realize just how powerful this hobby is. Toys are a lot of fun to print, but what about when something breaks? Instead of buying a replacement, just 3D print it. Sure, there's tons of ready-to-go models all online, but nothing beats creating your own custom solution. And then later when somebody asks about that weird purple piece on whatever it was you did, well, you can proudly say you made it and you 3D printed it right there. That's the moment that you're going to get hooked. And yeah, sometimes you print in purple because, you know, it's the only filament you have. Well, even if you're not into designing from scratch, you can still add your personal touch. You can throw in a name, a message, a logo. Most slicers now, well, they're going to let you insert 3D text or even SVGs for logos or use them as textures. It's easier than most people think. Really, the hardest part is figuring out how far to make the name stick out so you can paint it later by hand or maybe use your color filament. That little custom twist, it, that's what's going to make your print stand out, especially when you're giving it away as a gift. Speaking of gifts, there's a real joy in 3D printing for other people. Everybody loves getting a present, and 3D printing allows us to be really super creative with it. And then there are those times of the year, like Christmas, when it really hits you just how blessed we are to be able to own this type of a machine. A small 3D printed gift that could mean the world to somebody. Hospitals, schools, toy drives, 3D prints, they can bring smiles everywhere. And if you're up for some local outreach, ask your nearby schools if they'd like a demo you might inspire the next generation of makers. The 3D printing community is massive and awesome. Between Reddit, Facebook, Discord, and others, you're gonna find endless projects, wild ideas, and a lot of people really happy to help. And yeah, there's the occasional troll. A troll! You know, the majority of these people are supportive creators that are eager to share what they've learned. So join in, ask questions, post your successes and fails. Such a tragedy. And before long, who knows, you may find yourself being the one to help other people. Whether or not you agree with my other reasons, for my number one thing that I love about 3D printing, I think I got this one perfect. I love 3D printing because it's fun. <laughs> Printing wild models, testing if they actually work or move or fit, well, it's exciting every single time. And when it works perfectly straight off the build plate, that's pure magic. Print and place models, hands down, my favorite, especially those moving articulated ones. 3D printing never gets old. Yeah, it's not perfect, remember number eight, but <laughs> every failure leads to another cool idea. So how can you not love that? Did I nail it? Or did I miss your favorite part of 3D printing? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's keep the conversation going. Also, please hit subscribe to stay up to date with the channel. And let's keep having fun with 3D printing as we all continue to learn, create, and amaze.